multiply the rational expressions x squared plus 7x plus 10 over x squared minus 4x plus 3 times x squared plus x minus 12 over x plus 5. Let's start with the first fraction and factor the numerator. The numerator is a trinomial with a leading coefficient of 1, so we know that it factors into the product of two binomials. The leading terms are going to be x, and we need two numbers that will multiply together to give us 10 and add together to give us 7. So that would be 5 and 2. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 plus 2 is 7. So we have 5 and 2. This positive sign tells us that the signs of both of these numbers are going to be the same. This positive sign tells us that they're going to be positive. So this is positive and this is positive. Now let's do the denominator. Again, we have a trinomial with a leading coefficient of 1. So we're going to have the product of two binomials. First terms are x. 3 times 1 gives us 3. 3 plus 1 gives us 4. So we have 3 and 1. The signs are going to be the same. They're both going to be negative. Now let's do the second fraction. Again, we have a trinomial with a leading coefficient of 1. So we have the product of two binomials. First terms are x. And we have 12 here, negative 12. So 4 times 3 is 12. And 4 minus 3 is 1. So we're going to have 4 and 3. This negative sign tells us that the signs of these two numbers are different. This positive sign tells us that the sign of the larger number is going to be positive. 4 is larger than 3, so that one's positive. And the other one's negative. And then we bring down the x plus 5. Now let's see what we can cancel. This x minus 3 factor can cancel with this x minus 3. This x plus 5 can cancel with this x plus 5. And we're left with x plus 2 times x plus 4 over x minus 1. And that is our final answer.